Today I will show you how to remove an eSIM from your iPhone. If you have an eSIM on your iPhone that you want to remove, you could simply disable the eSIM so you have it on your iPhone to re-enable it later. But if you want to remove the eSIM completely, I will show you how to do that now. Open the settings app and in the settings app you go to cellular. Here in cellular you will see the physical SIM card if you have one installed or the eSIM cards that you might have multiple ones. You can only have one eSIM active at a time, but you can install multiple eSIMs. Here I have one physical SIM card and two eSIMs. One is turned off, one is enabled. So this one, this one is the secondary eSIM. I will want to remove this one. And this is the GeekSky eSIM. And I wanted to try to see how it is. So this is going to be the option. I connect to 5G. So it's using 5G now. You don't have to be connected to 5G to do this. I will enable the Wi-Fi so it doesn't need to be connected to Wi-Fi. And you find the eSIM that you want to remove. First, I want to show you that you can simply turn off the eSIM. And now I have one physical SIM card enabled and two eSIMs that are turned off. And I will show you now I can enable the eSIM. It's just simple like that. You will see here multi-SIM that is connected. These steps are going to be the same if you want to move the eSIM from iPhone to Android. In a future video, I'll show you how to move the eSIM from iPhone to Android. You can also remove the eSIM and not have to install it. You can install it later or you don't have to install it at all. If you delete an eSIM from your iPhone or Android or any device, you might have to generate a new QR code. In some cases, some providers, they allow multiple uses of the same QR code for the eSIM, but they usually have a limit. So five or six times you can transfer from one phone to another, but most of the providers, they will have the QR code, which is unique. So now if I did the eSIM from my iPhone, I have to generate a new eSIM from the provider and I did it before and they will regenerate it in the app. They see that it was removed. I didn't have to pay for this provider to regenerate the eSIM, but in some other cases for other providers, you might have to pay. And now that you know all this, this is how you delete the eSIM. You tap on delete and it says here that this eSIM will be deleted from your iPhone. Your seller plan will not be canceled. Contact your carrier to get a new eSIM or to cancel your plan. So this is important that if you have a subscription or a plan, removing it from your iPhone doesn't really change anything. You have to contact your carrier in general if you have to if you want to cancel the subscription or the plan or if you want to move it to another device. If you have an eSIM QR code that is multiple use, then you don't have to contact anyone. You can scan the QR code on the Android if you move to Android or save the QR code for later if you will use it later. At this point, I'm sure I want to delete the eSIM, tap delete, and you get one more, one more warning. This cannot be undone, delete eSIM. So now you see it's showing removing here. This is the part that shows removing and no need to update anything. It still shows here. Okay, so I will have to update contacts. I don't update any contacts with that. So, okay, that's the step to get rid of it completely. If there was any contact to make sure that it's removed. So now I have two. Now I have a physical SIM card and the remaining eSIM. And you see here, I only have one signal bar and I can enable the other SIM card and I use the second eSIM. The first eSIM I removed, it's gone. And now I have the remaining eSIM and the physical SIM card. This is how you remove an eSIM from your iPhone. And you can use these steps, the same steps to remove it from the iPhone, then to add it to Android. I'll make a video about adding this QR code, a new QR code generated after removing it from iPhone, I will add it to the Android. That's how you move the eSIM from iPhone to Android. You have to remove from iPhone, then you add it to Android. I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching.